my living room. These pictures in here, me and my sister. My Lord, growing up was very hard. I didn't have lots of friends and I really didn't have like a lot of future goals. In high school, Carrie was basically told that she doesn't have much of a future. And as it is, she's gainfully employed. She's got this support structure with friends. I am a cashier at Arks Valley Village in Richfield. And all the customers love me, of course. And I have gotten raises too throughout my five and a half years there. Because she has learned to be confident, because she's gotten some pride in what she's doing, she's a much happier person. I wanted to stay in Minnesota because I love the area. The buses are easy. And we do a, another thing called Supper Club where people will come and help out cooking and just sit and round and play games and have fun. We're just one big happy family. You're not being alone, you're just independence is your living life. Wow. I've changed. Eight years ago, until now, I was like a baby. Carrie in 2021, more outgoing. I feel more stable. I love having a house. I have one roommate, and now I have purple hair too. Welcome to my house, my dining room. Our kitchen, these are the chore lists that give me daily reminders what to do. Some of the awards I won at Special Olympics. My class that I used to volunteer in made that for me. Sometimes we will have TV parties down here. And what can I get you? This neighborhood is really cool. I have a bunch of friends living on my street. You can just walk to go to Target or catch a bus. I love it. My best friend would have to be Christina Fraley. She literally lives right across the street. When I was off of work for two and a half months, she would just check on me and see how I'm doing. And she would always like surprise me with little like gifts. When I was going through MICC, I had a lot of different classes and learning how to maintain friendships. Four years ago, right when I got to work, I couldn't catch my breath. I was having a blood clot to my right lung. I was in and out of the hospital for five months. I had a lot of staff support from MICC. My stepmom and my dad was literally the rock for me. I just really thought my life was gonna turn upside down. But I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. How I feel today from four years ago, a hundred times better. I did three different sports for Special Olympics, bocce ball, bowling, and powerlifting. I was able to go to states and set a record in bench press. I've been working for ARC for 13 years. A couple of my managers gave me 13 balloons for my 13 years. Right over there. <laughs> <laughs> I consider Carrie the heart of our store. She's one of our most experienced, most loved people here. Carrie's unique ability to remember every person she's ever met has been wonderful for just customer relations. If you go in that door and you talk to Carrie, she's gonna know who you are, she's gonna know what you like. We have a lot of regulars who, who know and love Carrie. When COVID-19 first started, my work had to shut down for two and a half months. I would say, don't go into like your own little world. You need support around you. During that time, Carrie wanted to make sure everyone on the team still felt like a team. She regularly called, set up Facebook groups, and I 
cannot thank her enough for that. MICC students built up their skills, their confidence, and we couldn't exist without people from MICC, I think. As we like to say, no slumber parties in the sink with those dishes overnight, right? Yeah, and it's been a little uh, slumber party-ish. When everything was starting to go virtually, I was like very nervous that I wouldn't be able to cook without support help, but I'm getting more confidence in cooking on my own and eating a lot healthier. Basically in another eight years, I see myself probably still working at my job, still living in this house to my CC staff. Thank you for helping me find my ground. I'm blessed and I've beaten the odds.